Hi everyone. This uh, video tutorial is going to explain to you how to use a plugin called WooCommerce Shipment Tracking. Uh, now, for those of you who use WooCommerce for your online shopping, uh, it doesn't really have everything you need to, to make it work perfectly. Uh, in order for them to, I guess, make some money, they do sell plugins and you know, a few plugins combined can really make your online shop run smoothly and exactly how you need it to. The shipment tracking plugin is, is a fairly simple plugin. It basically allows you to attach the tracking number of your uh, delivery to the confirmation email, which is sent to your customer when you complete the order. And that helps your customer because then they can track their order quite easily and it even diverts them to the website to track the order of whichever courier company you're using. Um, so basically, once you've installed the plugin, uh, let's just make sure it's installed. Yeah, it's called WooCommerce Shipment Tracking. Uh, if you go into your WooCommerce orders, you'll notice firstly on the right hand side, there's a shipment tracking section, which will, uh, I guess, put the provider that you're using for that particular order in here to, if, if in case you're using multiple, uh, couriers, you can get rid of that easily by going to screen options and clicking on shipment tracking there to remove it. But if you actually click into the order, you'll notice at the top right hand corner, there's a shipment tracking button um, and it says add tracking number. So let's just say you've used Australia Post uh, for this order. If you click on add tracking number, then go down and choose Australia Post. Type in the tracking number, choose the date that it's been shipped, press save and then save the order once again. And then what you want to do obviously is you want to complete your order. And once you've completed your order, your website will automatically send an email to your customer and your customer will then have the ability to see what the tracking number is. So as you can see here, the order has been completed and I can also see tracking information here, Australia Post, the tracking number, the date, and also if I click on track, it will actually take me to the Australia Post website and search for that particular tracking number. Um, now, obviously, this is a made-up tracking number, so it won't work, but it will work if it's a real one. Um, so that, that's basically how it works. So it's a fairly simple plugin, but it's very helpful. Um, now, there are a couple of things you can do to customize uh, this plugin. Firstly, you may not be using a uh, company or a career company that's on the list. Uh, if we actually delete this and we go back, you'll notice that there's quite a few of them. Now, you can just cr create your own custom, uh, custom provider each time, but let's just say if you're processing hundreds or you know even 10 orders a day, um, it can get a bit repetitive. So what you can do is firstly, you can create a custom provider and then you can assign that custom provider to be your default provider for future. And to do that, I mean, you can get the information off the shipment tracking uh, documentation, which is on the WooCommerce site here, but I'll show you how to do it. So f firstly, we want to go to the appearance section in the website and go to editor. And then we want to go to functions. So as you can see here, functions.php. Now I'm using a uh, 2015 theme. Don't worry too much about the theme. I should be using a child theme, but let's forget all that. And I will just go to the functions section and just enter it, space it out a bit so we can differentiate between the code of the theme and this extra stuff we're adding in there. Um, now, firstly, I'm going to copy and paste this function, which basically is saying that I want to create a, a new custom provider. Um, well, sorry, a new provider, which uh, is called Direct Freight. It's from Australia. And this is the actual web address of Direct Freight's uh, tracking system. So if I go on Google and I look for Direct Freight, if I click on their website and then I go to track and trace, you'll notice that they've just got this link here. So some courier companies might have a different system. But if I just click on track, if I just type any number, I guess, uh, I can see that that's the address that would be the best option for customers to go to type in their tracking number. So I'll copy that. And I'll go back to here and I will paste that in there. And I will hit update the file. Okay, and then I want to make that direct freight the actual default provider so I don't have to keep on going down the list to choose them. So I'm going to copy and paste this function. 
um, and you can get both of these functions off this video description. Once I update the file and I go to WooCommerce now and go to uh, Edit, let's, uh, let's just change this back to Processing and I'm going to go to Add Tracking Number and as you can see Direct Freight is now there. I'm just going to type in any number there and hit Save the Tracking Number and Save the Order. And now I'll go back to the Orders page and click on Complete. And I will just show you the email that I receive from this uh, this confirmation. Okay, here we go. Nice and simple. As you can see, Direct Freight is now there. That's the tracking number. And if I click on Track, it'll actually take me to the page here. Unfortunately, uh, it really does depend on uh, which co company you're using. This particular company doesn't allow you to... Well, it doesn't integrate directly into... Uh, this plugin so the customer will have to actually type in their tracking copy and paste their tracking number once again into here um, But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much how that that plugin works. If you have any questions, please let me know But hopefully that's straightforward for you. Thank you